the guy we're going to see right now is what I would call a backyard butcher. Basically, he gets the animals from auction and he brings them in and he keeps them in absolute filthy conditions. These animals are eating 100% slop and it's food that sits out for a very long time that spoils in the sun. They're so thin that it's just, it's so hard to look at. Gross, disgusting water, poop and filth and dead animals on the ground. Uh, the stench hits you before you even get out of your car. The slaughter block where they string these animals up to kill them is in plain sight of all the animals. I think of all of the stuff going on there that that is probably the most tragic because they live their life seeing their friends, their family being killed. And they know that that's what their fate is and this is how it's gonna be done. And they're terrified. Now we're working with local authorities because no animal should have to live like that. We decided that we were gonna do whatever we could to try and shut him down. Well, today is that day. He has since been arrested. All of his animals have been seized and they're all coming here to the gentle barn. We have set up a temporary structure for them so that we can triage them and get them all medically taken care of. After three generations of these animals suffering and dying there, finally someone's doing something about it. got 30 animals from this backyard butcher in this last raid, and Hiroko was one of them, and probably the worst visually. She was covered from head to toe in her own waist and filth. No muscle, no fat, nothing but skin and bones. She had a huge sore on her leg that was infected right down to the bone. Her spine was crooked, and all she did was lay on the ground. We were very worried about her. I think that she is more common than not. I think people get horses and they love them and they're part of the family. And then when horses start getting older and they can no longer be ridden, it's almost like an epidemic where people get rid of the horses. We've done a lot of things to heal Hiroka, the first of which is using sun chlorella. That floods the body with nutrients and gets the body so strong and so healthy that actually then the body helps us in the healing process. Vet care, of course, antibiotics, painkillers to start addressing that infection. We use chiropractic to straighten her spine and the ultrasound in the knee to shrink that swelling. And then hand walking her, lots of love, lots of treats, and giving her something to live for. But in the meantime, every day, every week, she makes progress. She looks happier, she has more energy, the life is coming back into her eyes. So we love what we're seeing so far and we look forward to more healing. Sun Chlorella sponsored this particular rescue and provided us all the products that we needed to nurse these animals back to health, which was such an amazing feeling to know we're covered. We're a company whose mission is to provide health and nourishment to mankind, whether it's through healing the animals or healing the children. The Gentle Barn has that same mission. When we first met Ellie and Jay, we were just amazed at their passion and what they have built here and what they're doing here. And, you know, and they're doing this out of this vision that Ellie had and this desire to help these animals and then they in turn help others. I think it's our responsibility to contribute to the society and also contribute to the community. This is what I think is the most important value and the reason why we exist as a company. Sun Chlorella donated enough product for every single one of our animals to get algae every single day. Which is so exciting because we don't get to rescue the healthy, happy animals. We only go after the sick ones that are dying and no one else wants. But now to know that not only can we use it to heal animals, but we get to have it every single day just to maintain them. Oh my god, I'm so excited. 
Our, our animals are probably gonna live longer than any animal <laughs> out there. <laughs> it's very exciting. We're making people's life better and making people more happy. I think this is the beauty of what we do.